Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to show you how to lanolize your wool covers. So what are wool covers? They basically are a waterproof layer that goes over a cloth diaper that you um, put in your baby overnight and so what you have to do is lanolize them and what that does is it stops it from leaking. So wool is naturally like anti-wick or water repellent, water resistant. And then you basically do some magic voodoo and they become like waterproof. And once you lanolize them, you don't have to wash them until they start smelling like pee um, or they start leaking through. I have five covers here actually. You don't need five covers. You normally just need two and then you can alternate them each night and then that usually lasts you like a month and then you can wash and lanolize them again. So the steps of how this is gonna work today. Number one, hand wash your wool. Do not put it in hot water and do not put it in the washing machine because it'll shrink. Two, I'm gonna make some magic juju out of these two things. Lanolin nipple cream because I have it, but you can buy um, lanolin from wherever, and emulsifying cubes. Or apparently you can make an emulsion with lanolin just using detergent, but I buy all of this stuff on Petty Tippy and she has emulsifying cubes, so hashtag science. Let's see how this goes. And you either need to be filling your sink, but I'm actually gonna use um, a bucket. Okay, so let's get to it. just got tepid water so it's not hot it's not cold it's then apparently I just pour that in there and then I'm gonna put all of my bits in and the reason you don't want the water to be cold when you dump it in because all your lanolin will split and then it'll it won't work and then I'm gonna soak it and leave it for a while Okay, these have been soaking for about half an hour now and they should be nice and covered with lanolin so you are not supposed to wring them out you just kind of squeeze them a little and then plop them on a towel to dry because you don't want to take out all the good lanolin that you just lanolize them with and then you just hang them up to dry let them air dry and they look pretty small, but actually they stretch pretty far. And you don't need five. I usually just have two. Someone was just selling these secondhand and you know me, I love a bargain. Okay. It's completely dry. Okay. It's not broken and this is sopping wet inside. 